you all are doing today. Right, today, obviously, my, my arm's still playing up, so um, I'm going to go through a couple of things that people keep asking me. Um, one is about palm muting, and the other one is um, how I play without a plectrum. Um, and I'll go through, I'll try and do close-ups so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going through my trusty... Oh, by the way, yes, the other day I did a... a, a um, a little review of what gear I use when I go busking when I play live <coughs> and I obviously I use the big brother of the uh, Roland Cube which is the Cube 30 um, and I did fail to say because someone's asked me is it battery pad unfortunately that one is not um, so if you want to go out busking with that you'd have to get a 12 volt battery and an inverter or have someone that's got mains um, so sorry about that I didn't tell you that um, so <coughs> what we've got here we've got Right, so palm muting and sort of picking, um, I'll do a close up in a minute. Um, it's it's one of those things, yeah, it just you need to sort of practice it and just persevere with it because it is a bit of a pain. And what I do with finger picking, some people finger pick like this with their fingers. Do that even better, and that it's worth practicing. That you know, just well, I'll come to a close up on that. Um, I also do sort of finger picking, you know, I won't play too much because it hurts my wrist. Um, and if I'm palm muting, I'm using this part of my my hand here, and I'm just sort of lightly resting it on the string. So, so if you rest it on the strings, you just get used to doing it. So just muting it. Close up so you can see exactly what I'm doing there. So here we are at close up, and what I'm using, I'm using this part of my, my palm here, and I'm resting it. Okay, I've got my, my pick up there, but I'm resting it just just past the bridge. So when I'm sort of you know it's I'm not pushing down, I'm just laying my hand on it, just laying it on, and you can see if you press it, of course, you won't get nothing, yeah. You know. And then it, the, the lighter you do it, so you just sort of, you know, So it's just this part of the hand, um, and I say, I normally do it, I'm obviously holding the guitar flat like this, but when I'm playing, I normally play it, so it's just, just past the bridge. So you see what I'm doing? So if I'm striking the strings, but my hand's also there. a little bit of used to um you know if you've only just started playing um these things are going to take you know a bit of time and it's just perseverance and i always say to people when i when i teach people one-to-one -one, you know if you've never played an instrument before then don't get frustrated because that's why people give up they get frustrated the best thing is if you're trying to learn a chord okay we're, we're doing easy stuff here because we've got one finger but if you were trying to play a chord and it's it sort of it, it's, it's like this because um, you're not pressing hard enough and it takes a little while and of course changing from one chord to another takes a little while then what I say is don't sit there for hours trying to do it because you'll get frustrated you put the guitar down and you won't play again the best way is try it for a few minutes and if you want to change, you know this is only, just only playing um, cigar box this is playing guitar, ukulele, mandolin, whatever and then I say put it down and leave it, walk off, have a cup of tea or something, but have it somewhere where it's accessible. So all you do is, every time you walk by, you go, oh, I'll just try that chord again. And you'll start getting used to it. Oh, I'll try and change to another chord. 
You'll start getting used to it. You know, your hands will start working. And, you know, it just makes life easier. And you won't get frustrated so much. I'm sitting there trying to persevere all the time. You'll get frustrated and you'll give up. So don't do that. Um, right, the other thing is, people ask me is, how, how do I play without a plectrum? Well, I, it, I have my fingers like that, so it looks like I'm holding the plectrum. But what I'm doing is I'm striking my nail. And my nail's not very long. See that? It's not very long. It's not a big long nail. Um, and I just strike with my... So I'm just striking it. Can you see that? With my finger. But of course the nice thing is doing that is... Because then you can, you can, you've still got your hands free. If you've got a plectrum, you haven't got your hand free. You know, you're stuck with a plectrum. With this, I can then. And then bring in. So I'm just using two fingers there. So it's just sort of variations of the hand without using a plectrum. Some people can't, you know, they have to use the plectrum. Um, I've got so used to using the guitar without a plectrum, I, I don't need one anymore. Um, but it does allow you to be able to... allows you to sort of do some finger picking as well as then going back to the strumming and the finger picking I do is I can either do it this style see I'm muting see how I'm muting here I mean there's no set pattern to this sort of stuff it's just you know you work on it yourself you know just work on it you know there's no set pattern or you've got to do it this way you've got to do it that way just you know i just pick strings out Just picking, you know, with your fingers. Picking strings. No set pattern, just, and then obviously a bit of palm muting here, just above the bridge. Well, I, I just say, I just pass the bridge, I do it. I mean, you can actually do it, sort of rest your hand on the bridge and just sort of move it up as you need it. It's just, you know, it makes the whole, when you're when you're playing songs, it just gives it a whole different lift. And if you can if you can do this sort of finger picking, I mean it's it just yeah it does take time takes practice. I mean that's what it's all about. Once you've mastered it, then of course you start doing other things, tricks, you know. Um, but that's how I say I I do it with I, I don't use a plectrum um, and. And when I'm when I'm doing solos, I'm and the other thing is releasing your finger down here as well. See, I'm not muting here. I'm just releasing my finger. a little bit of a vibrato on the string. Gives it a nice sound as well. So I hope that is happening. Oh, look at that. Hey, box stock. Hey, look at that. Hey, box stock. Chicky Bone John's. I, I couldn't go this year, unfortunately, because I was gigging. But next year, guys, I will be there. I will definitely be at box stock. For those in the UK, you've got to go to box stock. I mean, this is where the, this is where the cigar box guys hang out. Great stuff, great stuff, great shirt. Look at that design, love it. Um, okay, well, that's it from me. Um, I'd say I just thought I would 
say so I've been 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 asked and requested to show how I palm mute um, and what I do with no plectrum. So I hope that does help you um, and keep on rocking. I'm gonna sit back down. So I hope that sort of helps you out. How what I do is how I palm mute, how I play without a plectrum and a bit of finger finger picking technique. The other thing with finger with the finger technique is you don't necessarily got to pick them all like this. You can pick two strings at a time. Yeah, it gives it a nice sound. Yeah, you know, it's just practice makes perfect. But as I say, don't don't sit there struggling to do it. You'll get frustrated and you think oh, I'm never going to be able to do it. You will be able. To. It just takes time, perseverance, and just. Every now and again, just put it down, walk along, go, oh, I'm just going to try that. And then do it for a few minutes, put it back down, go off, do something else. And just keep keep referring back to it. Um, first, when you get out of bed in the morning, make a cup of tea, think, oh, I want me before the kettle's boiling. Just have a little go. So that's it. Easy. Well, it's not easy. It is easy when you know how to do it. Um, okay, that's it from me. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get uh, a few more um, tuitions out very soon after this is healed up a bit better. Um, so don't forget, Merry Christmas to you all, um, and we'll be seeing you soon with new lessons. Don't forget to subscribe, and any info you want on guitars or any information on the songs that I do on YouTube then send me a link to my email below and I shall answer them. Um, great guys, see you again soon. Merry Christmas. Ciao.